Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, it might be a pretty good photo op next 30 minutes, at least in Rhode Island, where the sun's coming through the cloud cover, lighting up some of those trees that are just caked in uh, really beautiful uh, snow cover. In fact, case in point here down in... Uh, Oaken Beach in Warwick. What happened? During the commercial break, the sun was out. All right. <laughs> the clouds filled back in. But some locations do have some rays of sunshine coming through. So it's an indication of clearing weather and some drier air starting to work through. And that'll continue right on through the overnight hours. Now, temperatures obviously are chilly right now. But these numbers will be dropping significantly overnight. And some of the pavement, obviously the pavement's wet. Secondary roads and parking lots, they may not evaporate in time. So that refreeze into black ice. So heading out tonight. Night, whether it's driving on a secondary road or just walking in a parking lot, uh, be mindful of that as temperatures fall below freezing. So that's the reason why the threat tracker is in the medium level. Even though the snow is moving out, we are much colder and watching for some of that refreeze and some uh, black ice. Saturday and Sunday, low level green in terms of storminess, but boy, both days are very, very cold. In fact, we may be talking near a uh, record cold over the weekend. The last of today's snow now edging offshore behind that drier air taking over storm system now south of New England continues to move east and behind that getting a northwesterly flow of air really tapping into some pretty cold air across the um, uh, upper Great Lakes in Canada. You can see that area in purple, and that is headed our way. So these are the temperatures right now. Watch what happens roughly next uh, 24 hours, that surge of cold working into New England. So overnight tonight, we're dropping down into the teens, and even with all-day sunshine tomorrow, temperatures never really recover that much, only low to mid-20s for daytime highs. Now, throw in some significant wind tomorrow, and we're talking wind chills at times, it'll be close to zero. Get in real close, take a look at Futurecast, and we'll put this into motion. Starting off this evening, any leftover snow showers in southeastern Mass pulling away under partly cloudy skies. May see a flurry after midnight, nothing more than that. 7 o'clock in the morning, it's down to 10 with wind chills just below zero. And then during the afternoon, only low to mid-20s for daytime highs, some sunshine, and a few fair weather clouds tomorrow evening. 9 o'clock, temperatures are back down into the teens. So for this evening, uh, clearing skies are partly cloudy skies. Again, watch for that black ice. A couple of flurries around midnight. Temperature at 11 o'clock at 24. And we are frigid tomorrow morning, even with sunshine, looking at a temperature starting off between 10 and 15. And it only recovers to the mid-20s. And again, the wind chill is still a factor during the afternoon with that sun. So it's a cold and dry weekend. Monday's not bad, of course. All eyes on uh, Tuesday. We've been talking about this now for really for the last several days, seeing signs of a nor'easter developing and where along the New England coastline it sets up will determine how this all plays out. But we have the potential for something really significant here as far as a uh, snow and wind. Uh, so stay tuned on that as more information comes in. We'll certainly uh, give you updates. In the meantime, uh, looking at a dry weekend, but uh, pretty cold both Saturday and Sunday. Again, your afternoon high temperatures uh, that are topping out only uh, between roughly 20 and 25. Again, watch for some of these secondary roads overnight as the temperatures fall. It was nice at least, though, that it seemed like the roads were warm enough that it didn't cause too much of a headache Yeah, today. if there's ever a thing called well-behaved snow, <laughs> it, it accumulated everywhere but the roads because the pavement kind of maintains a little bit of heat, yeah. so it had a hard time sticking. Uh, but now the roads are wet, so we'll have to watch for the ice later. All right. Tony, thanks. More coverage.